<clears throat> Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm Skinny Bee Man here. Today we're going to talk about pollen. Uh, pollen is something that uh, most people don't think about too much. and They always think about the honey for stores for winter. And pollen is a major factor in the health of your honey bees. Um, it's just becoming warm enough now. It's March 9th, pretty day here, about 55 degrees. And the bees are out, they're collecting a little pollen. But most people don't realize the pollen intake of a, of a, a decent sized hive in a year. It, they need about between 25 and 55 pounds of pollen a year to make it. So, and usually if you're in an area and you only got under 15 hives, there's enough pollen in the area to take care of the honeybees unless there's a big dearth or something going on in the middle of summer. But here I run 200 hives, nukes in this yard, and there's not enough pollen around for them to, to get enough. So I gotta feed pollen substitute all the time, or if you don't, you lose bees in the winter time, and I learned the hard way that, that you do. Uh, there's a big study on it from the National Honey Show, I think her name is Heather Martina, uh, I'm gonna post a link to the video in the description on this one. It's a good, it's a good watch for anybody to watch, and learn about the pollen, how important the pollen is to the honeybee. Uh, early spring, when you're still getting cold days and nasty weather, and they and they can't get out and fly, if they've already started brooding up, if they've got brood in the nest. You need pollen patties inside the hive. That way they've got access to pollen on the bad days. You might have a week or two that, you know, it's snowing or the weather's not fit for them to fly. And those hives will back up. The, the bees you've got in the box are four months old, maybe five. And they've used all their protein reserves in the, put in that new generation. And if they don't have access to pollen them two weeks, your hives will decline in rather quickly. Uh, basically, that's the only time I feed pollen patties. I put some on splits sometimes, but pollen patties will draw hive beetles. Uh, but I do feed dry pollen substitute out in the yard communal 365 days a year. <clears throat> if they're bringing in plenty of pollen and they don't need it, they won't touch the feeders. If they do need it, they'll hit they'll hit the pollen harder than they will the sugar water. So, very important. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to make a uh, a pollen feeder. Uh, you can make it out of scrap pipe. It, it doesn't take much to make one. Pretty fast and simple. Very very efficient. And this this idea was brought to me by Bryant Davis out of Mississippi. And we'll get along and I'm gonna show you how to make one. We're gonna make it out of four inch lightweight PVC pipe. Four inch. You'll need four inch cap and a gutter adapter. Two eye screws. And some nylon string or wire or whatever you want to use to hang it up. I'll try to get this a little closer here so maybe we can see something on the, on the saw. Right. You can cut the pipe however you want. This has had to be handy for me, a table saw. We're gonna you're gonna cut it in uh, 16 inch lengths.
All right, we got our 16th, 16 inch length of four inch PVC pipe, nothing to it. You just put a, put a cap on one end. And then I like to, uh, on this end, I, I drill right down through the pipe and the cap. Take you an eye screw of your size, any, your, whatever size you want. Make sure you drill the hole tight enough that when it screws in there, it'll seal water so water won't run in it. Take the gutter guard. Try to get it lined up. Put this on the top. The gutter gutter guard part of it on top. And I typically, once I got this on there, I drill behind this so I can get it off to fill it up. Put my other eye screw right here. Tighten them all the way in. And then you'll just take your string. Tie it on there. Way. Now you've got your feeder, you can hang it on a fence with a nail, just angle it down a little bit so the water don't run inside, in, inside of the, probably not even showing that, probably too high. Let me put this box up here. But you can hang it on the side of a fence, just angle it a little bit so the water won't run in, in back in the pollen. Or you can hang it in a tree, hang, hang it anywhere you want around your bee yard. And I feed uh, Man Lake Ultra B. It's got all 10 of the amino acids in it that the bees need to raise brood and be healthy. Uh, I've tried homemade stuff and they, they just, you can't get everything you need. It's cheaper just to buy it and, and go with it. You just put your couple, three cups of pollen substitute in there. Hang it up and your bees will always have pollen. Like I say, if they need it, they'll be eating it. If they don't, they won't touch this stuff. Hope this helps some beekeepers. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Skinny Bee Man here.